I just got home from work and people were annoying, pessimistic, and cynical. So what better way to cheer myself up than by making a favorites video of my seasonal favorites. Let's get started. <laughs> Hi, hello, my beautiful messes. Welcome to another episode of Beautifully Messy, the mental wellness and beauty channel where we talk about skincare, fashion, you name it, let's talk about it. So if this is your first time visiting, hi, my name is Rachel. I am the beautiful mess that you are looking at today. And uh, yeah, that's basically what we do. We talk about mental wellness, we talk about skincare, we talk about makeup, of course, because that's my favorite form of self-care, and we are open to everyone. So tell everyone you know to subscribe, like, and share this video, and let's get into it. So my favorite, my favorite, let's start off with subscribers that I've been loving lately. Subscribers that I've been loving lately are Judy D, and I'm probably going to be doing reaction videos to her videos because she is absolutely hilarious. The makeup fails. The makeup fails are legendary. And I don't know how she puts her face through it. Like, just on a constant basis. Just, <laughs> oof. So, um, she's one of my favorite new YouTubers. And Mike MGTV, he is giving me everything I need in a gay, over-the-top, outspoken bartender, and I love it. Now, he's a bit obscene, and by a bit, I mean a lot, so don't watch him with your kids, but that man gives me life, and hopefully one day I can meet him and have drinks, or maybe not, maybe just talk about his mental health journey. I know I mentioned him in another video of mine, so, Yes, he's another one that I've been loving to watch, and then him watching and reacting to Drink Masters on Netflix has been especially um, fun and, and entertaining. So, now that we've gotten into all of that, let's get into what's actually in my favorites. Wait, like, like hold on, let me show you. Okay. Look, look, look at this. Look at, look, look, look at this. That's, th th there's a lot. So, first we're going to start off with the heaviest and most cumbersome item. This is the Royal Craft Wood Bath Tray. I'm trying to like hold it so you can actually see it. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> this is a bath tray that I bought and I absolutely love it. Um, it's got a little cup holder so you know can hold the little wine glass or your water bottle did you drink your water today this is your sign go drink your water um also it's got this lovely little space here that holds like a book that you're reading or your ipad and this cute little door hanger and it also extends so that's one of the reasons why it's so cumbersome is because it can actually extend and then you get this cute little soap dish thingy so yeah i love this thing i have used it in the tub about three or four times already and it's just a great purchase i love 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 that so oh also new backdrop how are you feeling i like the lightness to it so we will keep that in mind okay moving on so if you are like me mentally unwell and you love scents that make you feel good about yourself this this is the zoom by wild indigo laundry soap and they call it a laundry soap, not a detergent, because no actual detergent in it. <laughs> Sorry, I was reading. It's got coconut oil, essential oils, baking soda, and vegetable glycerin. And vegetable glycerin acts as the natural fabric softener. I also just really love scents. Like, I have an essential oil diffuser, 
at my job that just helps me to deal with how much people ask a lot and are super demanding and sometimes most of the time don't say thank you so this is the frankincense and myrrh uh, laundry soap sorry i didn't even give you this scent and this when i first smelled it i was like well this is gonna be too strong to like just use on the sheets but I toned it down using some regular laundry detergents. I still use my Persil, because my mom is very big on the Persil laundry detergent. Hi, mommy, if you're watching. And um, then I used some of this, and it was just heavenly. It's woodsy, but it's sweet at the same time, and it lingers. And like the whole entire laundry room smelled like it. And it just, oh my god, I have laundry that mental health, you know, pacing myself, I haven't put away yet. And when I take it out of the laundry bag, I can still smell this scent. So I love this product. I'm loving the company and I actually bought one of their newer scents. It's called um, Amber. And so that should be arriving soon. And then I bought a sweet orange scent for my daughter's clothes and uniforms so that, you know, she could have a little pick-me-up during the day because who doesn't want to pick me up? This is actually a Five Below Christmas candle called Winter Wonderland. Um, it has frozen citrus, clove, and balsam. And I just wanted to talk about this candle because it's not finished yet. And I've had it for... I bought this candle before Christmas so I've had it for a while and it, it hasn't finished burning and I thought that was pretty cool for a candle from Five Below because this one I haven't managed to finish yet so if you can find these candles I don't know they're probably sold out now because it's February even though this is gonna be my January favorites you you already know that's how favorites works um, but check out some of their other five below candles and let me know if they all burn this well because it burned well it had a beautiful throw it was great Blech. native i got the spikes eggnog scent i bought the body wash which like is almost done and the deodorant and i've been a big like Mitchum deodorant user for a very long time so for me to just switch to a different deodorant unlike me but um this scent this this scent is just it gives me everything that like my Christmas loving joy to the world nutmeg cinnamon hot cocoa needs um and it just is it, it was just so so great and this is another product that is made with clean ingredients um a cleanser derived from coconut oil cleansing salt table salt spiked eggnog scent sodium salt food grade salt a lot of salt but um it's also supposed to be moisturizing and then the deodorant. Okay, so if you are like me and you get anxious, when I get anxious, people make me blush. And when I blush, I get warm. Well, with this deodorant, when I get warm like that, you can smell it. And so the one time I was sitting at my desk at work and I was like, what is that cinnamon? Where's the cinnamon smell coming from? And I realized it was my armpits and I was amazed. I was like, wow, I've never had a deodorant do that to me before. So check it out i'm also buying their newest gummy bear scent very soon so i'll let you know about that one too next thing it's this so like i said we're bougie on a budget here i don't have the money to spend on 30 to 50 dollar bath salts epsom salts but I can spend it on $7 Dr. Teal's and this scent. I've had a number of Dr. Teal's Epsom salts, like the bags of Epsom salt and a bunch of different scents. We've tried the um, 
eucalyptus and spearmint, we've tried the cannabis sativa, we've tried the, what else did we try? Just recently I got the one with elderberry that's supposed to be good for menstrual symptoms. Um, I've had another one, pink Himalayan salt. We, I love Dr. Teal's. We love it in my house. I even use some of the lavender uh, bubble bath in with my daughter's bubble bath. It's great. This, you could smell this scent before you even opened the bag. Like, I don't know, heavy, heavy in vanilla, I don't know, but it's oat milk, argan oil, and essential oils because, like I said, my skin is the Sahara. So we wanted something that would deeply moisturize the skin. And I don't know if I could say deeply moisturize the skin, but it smells heavenly. So love, love this. And you put some of this in with this, and you get your little bath tray. That's, that's a good night in my book. So, all right, this next one, Kind of random, but still. These. <laughs> okay, so my boss had mentioned that she wanted to order a pair of these. They're from Target. They are the, you know, I don't remember what brand they are. I think they're New Day, or they might be Stars Above. I think Stars Above is their pajama line. But these are the most stupid comfortable <laughs> and I say stupid comfortable because they're just so soft and like cozy and cushy that it just like when I put them on I was like oh my god this is so stupid this is it was stupid because I didn't know how to feel but with somebody that like has sciatica like I do I try and take it as easy on my feet as I can and these around the house joy just joy this okay so this is the music cozy eye mask bluetooth eye mask and i got this off of amazon and this is an absolute game changer i can hook it up to the bluetooth in my phone and connect it to spotify and play music or white noise brown noise and you get these cute little like buttons up here so this one's a power button no, sorry. this one's a power button and then you have the plus and minus for the volume and then on the side here you get these speakers you can hear everything and it's great it works out and I've actually slept so much better even on the nights that I don't listen to brown noise I sleep so much better with this mask over my eyes because I'm the type that likes to fall asleep with the TV on. I'm pretty sure my husband hates it, but I'm I that's how I am. So with this mask, I'm able to still fall asleep with the TV on, but also get better rest. So this this was great. This was I believe like 25.99, maybe cheaper than that. And um I can't I can't recommend this enough. If you have insomnia, get you one of these. Now let's go into the skincare. It's the Glow Recipe trial stuff and I will be ordering all of the full size Glow Recipe but look at this for her trial sizes that's not that bad. Like like I said in a previous video I'm not done with this Plum Plum Hyaluronic Cream and I've been using this for like two weeks so for trial sizes, this is actually pretty good. So this is the Strawberry Salicylic um, BHA and AHA Serum. This is the Watermelon Niacin and My Dew Drops Life Game Changer, all of that. Goat, all of that. <laughs> and the Glow Recipe Hyaluronic Plum Plum Cream. And we just, we love those products. And when I say we, I mean me. It's just a thing. It's just, it's just a thing. Okay, so now let's get into makeup. So, for makeup, we have the two newest Milani products that I've tried. The Conceal and Perfect Con 
Conceal and Perfect Under Eye Brightener in Pumpkin and the Conceal and Perfect Highlighter in Molten. Love, love, love these two products. You want to do a quick phase and get out the door. This, the Under Eye Brightener, maybe a little bit of e.l.f. Halo Glow if you're really feeling like it. Some of this highlighter, a little bit of cream blush, mascara, brow, lip gloss, out the door. Lovely. Of course, of course. And I know other people haven't had as great luck with it. I thankfully have my NYX Bear With Me Blur Tint. I am living for this product. It's giving me enough matteness where I need to be matte, but then it's also got a little bit of dew, so it's not matte matte. And it's just, it's great. It behaves to me like the Hourglass Ambient Glow. And that's, that's exactly where I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> also for makeup, we have the Make Beauty Diffusion Dew Radiant Tint in the shade Hazelnut. I cannot say enough about this product. It has niacinamide. It will brighten. It's great. It's, I believe it's pore blurring. Don't quote me on that. My phone is in the other room. So I can't even really read you off the facts. But take the time. Do the research. Ask me more. I'll do the research if you don't feel like doing the research. But this for me, unless you don't like visible glitter on your face. Because this does have what I will call 5% of visible glitter, but you've seen my eye looks. I love visible glitter. <laughs> um, but to me, if you're okay with visible glitter and you want another product that's just gonna make you look a smidge above the e.l.f. Halo Glow, but like filter ready, but not heavy and not cakey, run, don't walk, get this. Next, we have, of course, the Make the make Setting Powder. Come on, you've seen me use this in how many other videos? Look at, look at, just, we, we love that. The Make Diffusion Set Translucent Press Powder. Mine is in Translucent Medium Deep. I use this even when I don't use the Diffusion Dew. I use this when I use the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I used this, I believe, I put this over the NYX Blur Tint one time when I was using it. This is another just great product and when I have the ability to test out higher end powders like Charlotte Tilbury, you know, her airbrushed setting powder, I will compare the two and let you know. And this, if you like nude shimmer, nude shimmer, nude shimmer. If you have melanin and you like nude shimmer, nude shimmer. I, I can't stop wearing these colors on my eyes. And even if you, you know, don't have melanin, any skin tone could wear this. But I just, I can't, and granted, people are like, oh, it creases. Yes, it creases, but if you put a powder in the crease and you put this over, it'll crease a little less on you. So, I mean, it's not the greatest for like an all day, I went to work today look, but you go, you're you going out, you're going out and you want to look natural, but you still want to look snatched, chef's kiss, glitter, chef's kiss. And I will be buying their Gold Lust palette as well, and probably to their 1111. And I know I'm late to the party with Rowan, but like, I love this. So now to finish off, <sighs> fragrance. So I have three here that I haven't actually managed to finish. I'm quite surprised. Um, I will put up an honorable mention. That honorable mention is God is a Woman by Ariana Grande. I went through that bottle. My aunt got it for me for my 31st birthday. I went through that bottle so quick. I just, I was swimming in it. I was swimming in the fragrance. So I have chosen others. 
that I feel are more seasonally appropriate, but when spring and summer comes back, I look forward to going back to God as a Woman, especially with the fact that they have like the, the body souffle and all of that Ulta. That's a run don't walk for me. But these are the Kayali Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli. Love this. It's sweet, but it's a little spicy, a little herbaceous, giving you that patchouli. So it's just like, hmm, that's different. Love that. Then, the next up, my husband actually picked this one out for me. And I was very surprised. I wanted to a different scent for going out at night. I wanted something that would be enticing and dark and sexy and he picked this out. So this is the Kaali Love Fest Burning Cherry. This is not as cherry heavy as you think. It's got this nice blend of cherry but again the patchouli so it makes it darker so it's like this one I would do at night and this one I would absolutely do during the day because the vanilla it's sweeter it's more daytime friendly but the cherry she's making a statement and this one you really want to get mysterious this is the replica by Mason Margiela by the fireplace I know that there's so many people that already love this again kind of late to the bandwagon but this this gives me campfire this gives me woodsy but like it's funny it's it doesn't give me enough vanilla so I want to see if I can find another fragrance that gives me like more of a s'mores kind of vibe yes I'm 32 and I want to walk around and smell like a s'mores but this is very very woodsy, very smoky, and very unisex. Like, I have this and I was loving it until I got the vanilla sugared patchouli and then that one, because of the vanilla, gave me more of what I was looking for. But I want to spray this on my husband and see how it smells on him because everybody's pheromones carry a different kind of vibe and I just... It didn't have enough vanilla for me so that's why it's an honorable mention but for for seasonal I absolutely think you should check this out because it is quite warm and cozy and smoky and dark and I love it I do love it I will say that so I know what you've all been waiting for it's the update on the L'Oreal Telescopic because I told you, I told you I was going to update you in a later video. So, we're still playing around with it. When you get past the, the clumpiness and, and how wet the formula can be, it can actually be a very beautiful mascara. What I will say is, she dries on you. She dries very quickly. So if you're going to go in for three or four coats, good luck to you. I had trouble building it up to three or four coats and even when I did it still didn't give me the lift and the volume that other L'Oreal mascaras have and for that I was just kind of like okay you know she's she's natural but she's a little tiny step up from like natural you know she's she's natural this, this is what I would consider a good, like, first date mascara. When you want to make an appearance, you, you, you know, want to give them something that they will never forget, and you want to look natural, but put together. I think that's what this is. For me, the length and the definition it gave me was natural, but put together. I've had other natural mascaras that didn't give me what this gave me and like I'm still testing this one out I'll probably wear this one to work tomorrow and see how these two compare and I'll probably make a video out of these two just so you can see volume and lifts volume and lifts and like I said in the previous video this one I believe is like five dollars cheaper than this one so it's kind of important um but yeah, that's that's how this one has been working out for me. It's it's nice, you know. It it it's 
you know, I think even when I said it was beautiful mascara a few minutes ago, I was being too nice. It's nice. It's a nice mascara. It's not, you know, with the, with the foundation, does it get, it's, you know, do I give it its flowers? This, this gets like two bouquets. But like that's it, you know. It's not. It's not knocking my socks off personally. So yeah. So that is my seasonal favorites for right now. So let me know. What did you think? Did you like it? Did you love it? Do I talk too much? Do you want shorter form content? We're gaining traction on this channel, and I'm so thankful for that. And I have plenty more videos coming down the pike. I I bought a Dyson, like. I bought a Dyson hair tool. Who am I? I don't know, but I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try it out on video so you can see what a Dyson can do on my hair. And hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you found some new products you wanna try. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. I'd love to see you come back. I'd love to hear your comments. Let me know, have you tried any of these products? Are you thinking about trying any of these products? Do you like the lighter backdrop? Let me know. Hit me up on Instagram. Recommend me some makeup to try out. Just talk to me. Let me know, how are you feeling? These, these are some of my favorites that have helped with my mental health and maybe they'll help with yours. Aside from that, I love you for watching. You are more than necessary. No, you're very necessary. You are more than enough. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.